Hey guys, so that video ran really long about um, the real tea about law school. So I am just gonna make it a two part video and this second part of the video is gonna be about how I did in law school. I am so sorry that that video ran so long but there's just so much that I have to say and that's probably a product of me waiting so long to do the sit down video. Everything's just piled up and I have to talk about everything all at once. And I just also love talking. So, yeah. But how did I do? Like, girl, was it a good semester? Like, are you even in law school anymore? Like, did they kick you out? Like, what's happening? I did make it back. So, shout out to me, you know, as a second semester law student. So, I'm wrapping up. Like, you know, we're, we're, we're putting in the work. But um, sticking with the categories that I did in the first video, um, class preparation. So I told you guys that I'm going to show you how I prepared for class. And this is how. Okay, don't embarrass me. Mm -hmm. All right. So I would read for my classes and I would brief the cases um, sorry if I'm looking back and forth with the camera lens, but I would prepare for classes and I would brief my cases, um, from the textbook. I read my textbooks and I brief. I do not use Quimby. I'm not paying for a subscription service when I have a mind to read. Yes, it takes me more time, but I'm not paying. But if Quimby is going to work for you, do so. Some people value their time a lot more. Um, so they rather Quimby and do what it do in class. That's up to you, your learning style, whatever you want to do. But this is how I take notes and I brief my cases. So, hold on. So I have a few notes there. And then um, this is my brief. I showed you guys this. Give me a second. So I'm going to go find my notebook probably should have had that already but um to show you how I take notes in class sure I'm back um so I just take my notes and notebooks I have a bunch of them all of these are unused but I have like different styles of notebooks um oh my god yeah, I'm just making a whole mess but um Ugh. Okay, so this is how I take notes. Um, I don't use the back of pages, but I basically handwrite my notes for class. Yeah, y'all know what handwritten notes look like. Yeah, so I handwrite my notes for class, and this is, like I said, after I've already... So yeah, my video got cut off, but um, my handwritten notes are for a while I'm taking notes in class. So anything within my book comes directly from what my professor lectures or what my professor says. Anything that's on my laptop typed is what I took notes um, from the case book. So that's how I do that. And then I consolidate when I am putting together my outline with my Barbary book because my Barbary book is important as well. Um, so that's how I prepare for my classes every day. I read before my classes. Um, do I get first semester? I read religiously. I basically briefed all the cases, um, or most of the cases I should say for my class. Um, I was always prepared as far as the content goes in class. Now this is going to move us, us into class participation. How am I? Am I a gunner? Do I want to show the people like what I know? Like, do I need them to know that, hey, I've read this case and I understand what's going on? No, I'm not a gunner. Um, I actually don't even volunteer. Like I volunteer the first week of school and then I cut it out um, to answer questions. I am not a gunner at all. I don't volunteer. Um, so the only time that I do speak up in class is if I am cold called by the professor um, and that's completely fine with me. Um, gunners are not necessarily the smartest people and people who don't volunteer aren't the dumbest. Let's just say that. And, um, no shade, no tea, but, um, you know, it shows for itself when ranking come out and 
all that other stuff. But anyway, I am not a gunner. Um, but I am prepared in class if I am cold call to answer questions. But I'm not one that feels that it's necessary to speak every time there's an opportunity presented. Um, how does that impact my reputation? Don't know. Don't really care because um, I am not disrespectful. I keep things professional in class. So if anything, people just might not know necessarily like who I am. Um, and that's fine. But at the same time, when I am um, put to the test, I know my stuff, you know, I, I got it. So I don't worry about any of that. Um, and my work ethic will definitely speak for itself. Involvement. So first semester, I um, I joined BALSA, um, which is the Black Law Student Association. So I'm just a member of BALSA, but I interviewed for a Barbary 1L rep position and I got it. So, you know, Barbary is the number one and the best bar prep company in the nation. Plug. But no, seriously, I do feel that way. Um, my first semester towards the end. Um, so basically to become a Barbie rep, at least at my school, you would have to have a rep that is there recommend you to be um, interviewed on the, I mean, to get the application um, to join the team. So um, a friend of mine that I knew from undergrad, that's a 2L at my school. He, um, a couple of people that is in his class, they are reps for Barbary. And one of them he had introduced me to like in the beginning of school. So I realized that he was a Barbie rep. So I reached out to him and I told him, you know, that I was interested. And plus like the first day of school, like I saw the Barbie attorney and I was just asking like, how do you become a Barbie rep? Cause I know this is the company that I wanted to work with. Cause I've heard so many great things about Barbary before coming into law school. And um, yeah, I just knew that I wanted this opportunity. So what he did recommend me. So I was, sent the application because it's not open so you don't you can't just like apply to Barbary online you have to get it from the head rep at the school um so I was able to get the, the application um sent to me and everything that I had to fill out and my applications was accepted and I got an interview and then after the interview um we had to wait until we came back the spring semester to find out if we got the position um because you had to be cleared by the head rep um, and then also the attorney had to clear you, the Barbary attorney had to clear you before you were a part of the team. So, um, I'm very happy that I was selected, um, along with another person in my class, there's two of us that are Barbie reps and, um, yeah, that went well. So that's my involvement now in the spring semester. I table for Barbary and all that good stuff so let me know down below if you're interested in knowing more about barbary about being a 1l rep and just how to get involved in law school without it jeopardizing what you need to do for your studies um all right so that's involvement friendships naturally my friends like i have two friends that um two persons that i have relationships with before i started law school um, for my undergrad so as far as saying like a friend I would say they're more so my friends um, and then um, I met you know you guys can see DJ from you know my other vlogs and stuff like that like me and DJ we connect like you know that's my guy um, that I met in law school first semester but other than that I just had acquaintances people that you know I spoke with here and there but for the most part I did what I needed to do and I was out um I didn't I'm not like a social butterfly so I'm not out there trying to mingle and greet and do all this other stuff because my objective for the first semester was to figure out this law school thing and do my thing you know what I mean because for me once I know how to do something it's game it's a wrap you know what I mean there's nothing that's gonna stop me from dominating so that was just my whole thing so friendships they came naturally this semester. Of course, I have um, a lot more connections at the school, people that I talk to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yada, yada, yada. I stay out of drama. So finals. So finals. How did finals go for me? Stressful. Finals was stressful. Finals was stressful. Why was finals stressful? Well, the preparation for finals was stressful. Um, I wasn't anxious or nervous for anything until like the day off the test like literally right before I'm about to go take the test that's when the anxiety kind of like came but um 
studying for finals was stressful because I am like, I hope I'm studying what I need to study. Um, I hope I'm not neglecting things that I should know and I'm not knowing. So I'm trying to like pack everything, you know, in. And my fault was that I was not outlining throughout the semester. Big no, no. Um, I was not outlining throughout the semester. So reading week, I was outlining during reading week. I'm studying and I'm outlining. I'm doing practice questions. I did not do not one practice essay my first semester of law school, which is a big mistake. I should have been exercising um, that muscle, that, you know, Iraq writing law school essay muscle, but I didn't do that. Um, practice questions, I was not doing that. I have these books here and I didn't start using them until reading week, um, the Q and A's. So let me show you what I used. Oh. So I use these. So this is the contracts one and I have them for like other subjects and stuff like that. I think I need to get comma. But anyway, um I used Q&A to study questions. Um and this is pretty much how it's set up by like topic areas and then it'll ask you give you multiple choice questions and then um i think they have short answer do they have short answer yeah they no they don't i don't know but i just did questions from the q a book um during reading week and i finished my outlines i did my outlines during reading week and as you guys can see i don't really talk i don't need to talk much more about finals because I documented it all for you so go check those videos out on my channel um literally every single day that i was studying for each class i recorded it and it's here on youtube for you to watch so if you want to see how that went just check those videos out um but a major key was my barbary outline my barbary outline my barbary outline barbary was a major key for me studying for finals and i can say yes break over the break i went and i had an amazing opportunity to work as a law clerk at um a large regional law firm they are florida based and um they are you know pretty big large size um firm over 300 attorneys um but on the bigger scale of things that would be more like a i guess medium sized firm for some people because like national firms have maybe like thousands of attorneys but yeah I'm staying in Florida so for me in Florida's perspective and all of that it's a it's a big Florida firm um I, I I clerked there I had the opportunity to write memos to do legal research and let me tell you the time that we're given to write legal memos is like a month or so like whatever amount of time frame in law school you have to get those things done like this at the firm like this. so practically the time the turnaround is just mind-blowing um but obviously they give you more time in law school because you're just learning but for me taking this opportunity to law clerk as a first semester law student while i'm still learning how to research while i'm still learning how to legally write how to do legal writing um it was a big jump for me and i was you know taking a risk with my reputation because i could just write some my memory could be trash and i'm turning in trash memos and this is my legal reputation that has just begun, you know, with the firm, seeing my work product. But no, um, I did well in my legal writing and research class. Um, all of my grades that I got back in writing were in the top portions of um, the class. I was always above the class average with my writing. So um, I was confident enough that the base that I had in legal writing and research would be okay for me. It would suffice as a, you know, first semester um law clerk which is very unique and yeah people just don't law clerk their first break out of law school but i did it um it was very stressful though because i went right from taking finals to working at the law firm every single day uh, i was exhausted and i can tell you that that is the main reason why you guys are getting this content so late and why you saw a gap after finals because when I came back from um, working, I was back in law school. I was back into the world of just like, you know what I mean? So I never took that opportunity to really unwind and enjoy my Christmas break. 
and it took a toll on me within the first month of law school and I really just needed to take a step back from social media. I came off of Instagram, everything, and I just kind of tried to focus on me and getting my energies right and getting back into the grind of law school because, hey, at the end of the day, I need to do well while I'm here. So, yeah, that's what happened there with finals. And um, I would recommend you guys, though, to take a break. If you want to do something like me, sure, go for it. Um, I'm a little bit of an overachiever, and I do too much sometimes. But, um, yeah, I'm one of those people, like, I'm always going. I'm always trying to find, you know what I mean, um, the next opportunity, the next thing, the next goal. But I definitely look back, and I see that it would have been definitely beneficial for me to take a break and just relax during that break. Spring break, though, I'm chilling there's no working for spring break so i'm excited for spring break but anyway um and then ranks how did i girl how did you do like how was your grades what are you really saying um i don't discuss so a rule that I have in um, school with even my friends, um, I don't discuss grades. So anyone that knows me at my school, um, that's acquainted with me, they'll know that I don't, I'm not one to um, speak about grades. And this is not because I do horribly, because let's just get it clear. I've never gotten a grade back, not a quiz, not a writing assignment that I've ever um, performed below or at the, um, the average of my class. I'm always above the average of my class in every single assignment. And that's not me gloating or anything like that. I'm just setting it straight because I know people might get the perception that because I say I don't discuss grades or I don't do numbers, that that automatically means that I'm doing garbage, I'm doing trash. Definitely not the case. I just feel like um, it's undue pressure. I am not here to compete, even though law school is a competitive nature and of course your ranks matter, how you compare to your other classmates. It's me against me, it's me versus me. And I don't want people pouring into my head trying to derail me from what I, I'm so tunnel vision on my journey, my evolution, my growth, that I honestly don't worry about the rest of my classmates because I know my work ethic, I know what I'm capable of, the intelligence that I have. And once I apply myself, even though law school, honestly, it's not the effort you put in necessarily means that you're going to come out doing great. But I just have a level of confidence within myself and I just know myself and my learning style that, um, yeah, I don't want people, I don't, I, I don't want those conversations. I don't want, you know, anyone, God forbid that I do do bad or I tank something or whatever. I don't want that emotional stress to have to deal with that. So I don't discuss grades. My friends don't know how I perform in school. Like, um as far as the actual grade I'll tell them you know yeah I did well or it went well for me um and stuff like that but I don't do that but to just speak in general I did good my first semester I will say this so you'll end up knowing a grade um I did book a class and what does booking a class mean so booking a class is an award that you receive from your institution for receiving the number one um spot the highest grade in your class um for that semester so i am proud of me booking a class because booking a class to me is prestigious and it is the um not many people can book a class um so just to give you an understanding multiple people will get an a in a class it might be a small amount um you know could be three people, five people that end up with an A in a class and A's are evasive in law school. But to book a class and get the number one spot to get the highest grade in a class, not many people um, are able to accomplish that feat. So for me to do it in my first semester of law school, I was really freaking proud of myself. And I didn't find out that I booked a class until after um, all my grades came out. So when my grades came out, um, I wanted to perform um, better because my expectations are a lot higher for myself with everything I do. And I just, I think I don't give myself enough credit, but um, I did well. Um, I didn't get anything below a B. I did well, okay? But I just didn't meet my expectation for what I had set out for myself, letter grade wise in all my classes. Um, so 
rankings at my school came out super late. Like, I'm not even going to talk about that, like, because I, to this day, I'm still salty about it. But rankings came out last month, February. My school dropped rankings in February. We took our exams in December, okay? We got our grades released a little bit late. Registrar's office was just, like, really not, you know, the greatest. Um, so... I didn't even know, I knew my grades and what I got when I came back in the like first two weeks of law school. Um, and I kind of beat myself up for not meeting my expectations for my lecture grade that I wanted for all my classes. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I end up getting the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, The mail, I got mail from my, my school to notify me um, when I was notified for my award that I got the book award. And that really just made everything for me. Um, when ranks came back, I was, again, I was happy with where I stand in my class. Um, I am definitely, you know, in a pretty nice position in my class, but it's still not where I want to be. Um, percentile wow I wise I'm, I'm I'm okay you know what I mean um number wise as well I'm fine um but I'm just not where I need to be so I know I'm gonna be able to do that this semester changing some things that you know I didn't implement last semester but overall I'm rambling and I am just super proud of myself for um achieving that as a first semester law student and um, it was in our toughest class, the class that everyone is like most intimidated by. Um, the professor is like, yeah, she gives it to you hard. Like she does not, you know what I mean? And not only did I book that class, like, so how the law school grading system goes is that you, let's say your class, like you're graded really hard in law school. Like when I say really hard, I mean really hard. So you might have an exam that comes out and everybody got an F. By the numbers, like the top grade is like a 45. And that 45 will get an A. So it's all based on a curve. So that 45 will come out at the top of the class and you'll get an A. An A is gonna make everybody happy. For this class that I booked, guys, like I got a solid, not a shaky, but a solid B on that exam. And to achieve like that, you know, being this close, I'm actually my own work, not the curve working for me, but what how I performed, getting a B on that exam, I was just like, when I went back and I checked, I'm like, did I really do that? But I did that. So yeah. That's pretty much how um, everything went. So rankings, you know, we top two and we not number two. I'm playing, I'm not, I'm not number one in my class. Um, but yeah, that's how my first semester of law school went. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I chat a lot um, and that's usually what happens because I'm a chatter. Um, but yeah, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video for watching my video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all my old subscribers and the new subscribers that have joined the family. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. And I hope that you stick out this journey with me. If you have any questions or you want to know anything, you can go ahead and comment them down below or DM me on Instagram. And I'll be more than happy to assist you with that. Until my next video, bye!